Hey world, this is Hacker Triple Seven, and today I want to do a quick little review on the just released Internet Explorer 9. Now this is the not the beta, this is the full release. It just came out. So right off the bat, it is the main difference that they try to do between Internet Explorer 8 and 9 is the speed. So right off the bat, you probably saw right there that it was pretty fast. Now my homepage is Google, so I'll just type in something like uh, YouTube, and it is a pretty fast load. As you see, it loads fairly fast, you know. And that's one of the new features that they try to use your graphics card to make more enhanced um, visual pictures and speed and stuff like that. Another new feature is uh, pinning. Using the Windows 7 uh, pin or like pinning to taskbar, you can actually drag the little logo and you can pin it to your taskbar. So now, there we go. So now I can exit, I can click this, and it'll open up that web page. So I can still do I can do that with different things too. I can go to uh, YouTube. And then I can I can pin this up here. Stay again. One second. Yeah, when you pin it, it reloads. So, so I can click on YouTube right there, and it will open up directly to YouTube. There you go. So then, and then you can click unpin and then do that again. Okay, so another new feature um, is the ta the not taskbar, but the uh, search bar here. They don't have a search bar up here anymore. How does the tool the uh, bar right here that serves as a web address and a web searcher? So you can use your favorite service provider. I'm going to use Bing because Bing has a little bit more uses. Now, using the Bing toolbar. Google does not provide this feature yet, but you can type in things like New oops, New York and type in weather after that. And right there, it will provide the weather. So it says weather in New York, 43 Fahrenheit, 44 Fahrenheit, uh, data, data provided by IMAP weather. So that is what it does. You can also do things like Type in computers, and it will give you suggestions. Now I can just click computers, and it will automatically do a search. And then I can click. When you search in here, it goes through your favorites your, in your history. So you can remember part of something. So let's say I was on computers Wikipedia. So computers. And I can go wiki, and uh, it shows it shows you might do you want this? And you can click on that. And there you go. And click on Wikipedia. And there you go. So that is about it. I want to go through the options pretty quickly. Oh, also, there's also the download manager that they added. So this is a little download manager where if you download things, it shows the name of what you downloaded, where it is, and what you've done with it. So, and then you can set your default location of where you want to put your downloaded stuff. This is the favorites. This looks like the old Windows, or old Internet Explorer, except the other one used to be over here. Now it's here, and you can add your feeds, your history. There you go. And you can just look through that quickly. And that's about it. So now I'm going to go quickly through the internet options. You can just look through these quickly. It looks very similar to the last one. Uh, off to your home page. I have some mind to delete my browser history. Your search settings. You know who you want your search provider to be. Accelerators. Toolbars. Whatever you want. 
close that. And then we got the connections, which you know what to do with that. You can tweak that up. The security, if you want, if you want an explorer to help you with protect blocking you from certain sites. And then an advanced area here. I have there's the uh, settings for Windows. So you can tell it to warn you about certain things. This is the new feature here, the accelerated graphics. It uses your graphics card for enhanced graphics. And then you're here you can have your system sounds and stuff for uh, accessibility. And then right here is the home. And then um, if you click a new tab, it shows your last head sites. And then, so you, if you don't, let's say, you don't want that, you just click it, and it's gone. Google, you can click Google, and there you go. So anyway, that's about it. I uh, hope you liked the video. If any questions or anything, just let me know. Um, anyway, this is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.